All right, today on Free Field Training, we are doing a viewer request video. Every time we do one of these soft armor vests, I get this question, and that is, how many layers of soft armor vest would you have to wear to stop a rifle round? When we did the Safe Life Defense Level 3A Plus video where we were stopping FN 5.7 armor piercing shotgun slugs, uh, Liberty 55 grain civil defense 9mm and stuff like that, people said, well, if I wore two of them, would it stop some rifle rounds? Or they said, if I took their Level 3A Plus vest and I put a Level 3A Plus backpack panel in it, what rifle rounds would that stop, or would it stop rifle rounds? Or they said, what if I wore like three vests? Well today, what we did was I got a Safe Life Defense vest. We put a 3A plus backpack panel in. So I've got one layer of 3A plus in the backpack panel. I've got another layer of 3A plus in the vest. I've got another 3A plus vest. This is just the back of this one. So we flipped it around so it's going the right direction. Then I've got another level 3A vest that I found in my garage. And then I've got a level 2A point blank vest, I think this is, also found in my garage. And then the back of that one, another level 2A point blank vest underneath there. So we're gonna try to hit it where it will go right about yonder, right below the logo here where it's gonna hit all the vests. And we're gonna see what multiple layers of body armor, soft body armor will stop. I have a feeling it's not gonna stop as much as people would hope, but we'll see. We'll see, we're gonna start off with the lowest realistic level of like legit rifle threat you can pretty much get, and that's uh, 30 carbines. So we have just standard ball 30 carbine rounds. So here are the rounds, just normal standard 30 carbine rounds, and we're doing it right up close on the vest, less than five feet away. So let's see what it did. Let's bring you in here. Let's take a look, see. So here's our hole in the front. Here's your first 3A plus panel. The hole in it. And then the hole out the back. And let's see if it made it out the other end of the vest. All right, so 30 carbine. There's nothing on the back. One level of safe life, one layer of safe life defense level 3A plus didn't stop it, but it looks like it fragmented it enough where the second vest caught it. Let's see if we can go inside here and take a look. Yeah, that's completely smooth. And then the vest on this end, let's pull this up. You can see it just kind of put a big dent in there. So you can see the little fragment pieces of the round. They're just sitting on top of the layers of of armor here. So now we're gonna step it up. It actually looks like it got maybe two or three layers in. So we're gonna pack this back up and we're gonna shoot with uh, 223 Fioshi 55 grain pointed soft point. All right, next we're gonna look at uh, Fioshi 223. It's just a 55 grain pointed soft point out of our 16 inch rifle. Now, this is pretty much the lowest level of 223 you're gonna get. It's a soft tip, it's 223. It's not super fast, it's designed to disrupt. All right, let's take a look. So here's our hole through the front, and here's our first layer of 3A plus armor. And your hole through the back, obviously it's gonna go through if 30 carbine did. And here's our hole, and there's our hole out the back. So two vests, not significant help for you. It's definitely coming out the back. Here's our third vest right here. Now you can see it's, it's fragmented a little, but uh, oh, it didn't come through the other side. So we're gonna take a look inside here, see what we can see from inside of this carrier. Here's where it hit. Looks like we're many layers in, probably halfway through the vest here. And then nothing on the back face. So 
So realistically, what we're looking at is to defeat 223, any 223 pretty much, out of a 16 inch barrel carbine, which we all have to admit is your more likely size of carbine to get hit with, uh, you're talking at least three level 3A plus vests. And this is the most protective soft armor I've been able to get my hands on. Pretty sure it's the most protective soft armor that's available today. It's meant only for handgun rounds. That's why these rounds are going through. But uh, at least three soft vests for 223. And we're going to step it up and see what uh, M855 does next. So now we're talking M855 green tip, 16 inch spikes tactical AR 15. Gotta put this one off to the left a bit. Let's go take a look. So here's our hit. Obviously it's gonna go through this, but you can see the 55 grain, or sorry, the 62 grain uh, green tip, our M855, is making a nice tidy little hole in our 3A plus to start with, which doesn't bode well for how this is gonna go going through all of it. It's in and out the second layer of vest. It's in and out the third layer of vest. It's in and out the fourth layer of vest. And it's been caught by the fifth layer of soft armor underneath by this uh, point blank level 2A. That's a lot of penetration. Let's try M193. Now we're looking at 55 grain XM193. We'll see what this does. All right, so right here is our M193 hit. And I'm betting this is gonna be an in and out. Yep, in and out, little tiny hole. Got a hole. So that's one layer, two layer of 3A+, three layers of 3A+. Uh, we're looking at four layers of body armor. This is a 3A armor. Uh, this is our fifth layer. And I got caught in the fifth layer. So, just for continuity with our other videos, we're gonna hit this now with 7.62 by 39. See how well that goes through. So here's standard FMJ 7.62 by 39 out of the VZ58. So here's our 7.62 by 39. There's our hole from it through our first layer of 3A+, plus. second layer of 3A+, plus. third layer of 3A+, plus. fourth layer, you can start to see shavings coming off of the steel from that round. I imagine it's probably a wash steel, mild steel, on the outside there. For our fourth layer, which is 3A, here is our fifth layer of armor, our 2A, and it blew through that and went on to our final layer of armor, and then that's the dent it left in the board. Derek, come get a shot of this dent. That's the dent it left in the board. So to be protected against 30 carbine, any 223 that's available on the market, and FMJ 762 by 39, you need one, two, three, four, five, about six vests, give or take. Hey, 556, five, so much better than 762 by 39. Who says that? How much energy? Oh, it's got all sorts of energy. It's energy, it's velocity. Velocity that totally destroys armor. That's 100%. Everybody says that who doesn't actually shoot armor at all, ever. All right, so what's our takeaway from this? You are not gonna wear enough vests to realistically protect you against most rifle threats. Uh, if you're figuring a uh, 30 carbine or uh, some intermediate rifle rounds, maybe 22 Hornet, something like that, maybe something in, in, in that, that range, that category, you can get like a 3A plus like this and layer it with a panel that's also 3A plus and it, and it, it may well stop it. 
uh, but legitimate rifle threats, you're talking far more vests than, than you would want to buy and wear. And at that point, it's going to be so cumbersome, you'd, you'd be better off with plates. Our recommendation, as usual, is a ceramic level 4 rifle plates or level 3 plus polyethylene plates. So that way, uh, you get protection against the M193, MA55, stuff like that. Hi, dog. <laughs> so... That's what we learned today on free field training. I hope it was interesting for all of you. Feel free to have an argument in the comment section about why all these 5.56 five, and 223 rounds didn't go as far as 7.62 by 39. I can't wait to see it. Uh, until next week, you guys be safe. Take care of each other. Hey, thanks for watching free field training on YouTube. While you're here, check out one of our other videos or head on over to Patreon and see how you can get your name put on the videos like these folks. Or you could check out my Instagram feed. There's a link down in the description, but you can catch live streams of me rapping while drinking coffee and eating a donut. Later.